Coming to you live from the On Access studios in beautiful downtown Torrance. It's the Quarantine Comedy Show with your host, Tom Kearney. <laughs> hey, welcome. Welcome. My name is Tom Kearney. And this, this right here, this is the world's first quarantine comedy show. Give it up. Yes. Yes. We are so psyched. I'm pumped up about this. You guys are in for a real treat. We have to... Mommy. Ma, ma, be quiet, okay? I'm doing a comedy show, okay? Okay, so we have some of the best comics from around the country and all over Hollywood. They're going to be right here. We have some of the best comics from around the country and... Oh, good Lord. Okay, so I gotta tell you what's going on here. My my mother, she just shows up, and she decides that she wants to write out this whole quarantine coronavirus thing here with us in the house. So that's happening, and you know the thing is that mother, watch your fingers, mom. Watch your fingers. The thing is that, well, I don't trust her. You know, I, I don't know where she's been. You know, we, we, we keep her back there, but and look, we let her out. <laughs> we let her out, but my wife and I, we go to the, uh, the backyard or the garage because six feet is way too close. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's way too close for comfort. So we're dealing with that. Just full disclosure. And then as soon as she shows up, it's like, geez, no drinking, no smoking pot, no nudity in the house. I mean, she's not following any of our rules. So we'll, we'll get through this, okay? Uh, but just to let you know, uh, all right, well, let's get this party started, okay? Are you ready for some comedy? Huh? Are you ready? All right, all right. I want to pull up our first comic. He's a fantastic young man out of Minnesota. You're going to love him as if he was your own. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Guck. Take it away, Bobby. Hey, let's keep it going for Tom Kearney, folks. Wasn't that great? Uh, probably. So, I'm getting this question a lot these days, um, and I'm pretty annoyed by it, actually. It's... People just asking me, what are you going to do today? <laughs> like, like things are going to change. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch Love is Blind on Netflix and eat cake. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. The quarantine changes nothing for me. If anything, it's made me even more lazy. But being at home with my wife, she's forced me to start working out with her, which is, which is fun. We did a 30-minute workout video the other day. I made about 15 minutes in. Now I can't feel the lower half of my body, which is fun. People do this every day? What's wrong with you? I'll never know. But we always said we wanted to spend more time together. Now we're quarantined together, which I think is gonna make our marriage strong. A lot of people are joking that in nine months, people are either going to be having a lot of babies or there's going to be just a lot of divorce in general. I think it's going to make our marriage stronger. For one thing, it's already showed me that uh, we have very different toilet habits. Uh, my wife is an underneath toilet paper person, which I think is just insane. It needs to be over the top. Just another little thing that I've noticed. <sighs> yeah. No, it's good. It's good. I'm also learning that um, without sports, I don't have a hobby. So, I'm going to be probably taking a lot of online classes, I guess. Started learning Italian, which is fun. Help me. Anyway, that's my time. Back to you. I'm Bob Gook. Oh, hey! Give it up for Bob Gook, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Did I tell you? Did 
Did I tell you? Fantastic. Well, the show's just getting cooking now. All right, we, our next comic coming up, you're really going to love her. She's a... Uh, oh, for Christ's sakes. The mailman's here. Just, yeah, just, just, just leave the, the mail on the stoop. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 just, just leave it on the stoop. Okay, all right, thanks. Thank you. Don't trust that guy. And it's not because he's Irish. He's got those shifty eyes, you know? Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> yes, this is what I'm talking about. Screen Actors Guild, baby. All right. This is Hollywood taking care of its own. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is what I call a stimulus package. All right, all right, all right. Uh... <laughs> yes, a residual check. From Unsolved Mysteries from 1989. <laughs> yes. Yes. $9.23. All right. Well, I, mean, I can get some toilet paper maybe. If I can just figure out a way to, to get over to the, to the Delano Mall or something. Ah, oh, screw it. I got a garden hose in the back, right? <laughs> well, I call it a uh, white trash bidet. Yeah, well, I'm squeaky clean. I can tell you that right now. All right, our next comic coming up. She's fantastic. If you've seen Arrested Development, if you've seen Curb Your Enthusiasm, well, see, she saw those shows too. Give it up for Jeannie Sykes. <coughs> oh, Hi guys, I am so glad to be talking to somebody, even if I can't see you. It's day I don't know what of this quarantine, and I am so sick of being ignored. I mean, I mean, who, who, who isn't? Um, and on top of that, uh, I'm, I'm equally, doubly stressed because uh, last week I was going to take my favorite aunt to Costco and. She didn't return my call. I texted her, she didn't text me back. Uh, finally, I went over there and her landlord let me in and we find her dead, which was such a relief because I thought she ghosted me. But I went to Costco anyway because I still have a life and it turned out really convenient because I was in there battling for the toilet paper and the six pound tub of Nutella and I glanced up and on the wall are mounted coffins. Did you know they sell coffins at Costco? And there's even a pink one in the exact shade of my dead aunt's bathroom. She, she would love that. Problem is, it's Costco and they sell everything in bulk. Everything. And I'm like, I don't really need six. But the parking sucks and I don't know when I'm gonna get back. Who do I know who might? And then it dawns on me, this is the first time in history that somebody might buy a coffin on impulse. You know, you've got your water and your paper towels and you're like, oh, that might save time. So I'm about to yell out, anybody want to split a six pack of caskets? And I decide, okay, that's tacky. So um, I actually call my uncle Joe. Hi, Uncle Joe. Um, I'm at Costco. Um, do you? No, they don't have that. No, no, they don't have anything. Um, but I wanted to ask you, how's your prostate cancer? What stage are you in? Hey, Jeannie Sykes, ladies and gentlemen, huh? Did I tell you? Fantastic. Uh, I don't think her aunt really died, but uh, that's pretty good. Uh, hold on a second. Hey, honey, where's the, where's the uh, ladder? Honey? Uh, uh, honey? Okay, hold on a second. 
Christ, I'll be right there! Keep it going for Jeannie Sykes, ladies and gentlemen, huh? Was that great or what? All right. Thanks a lot for showing up. That's our show for today. This has been the Quarantine Comedy Show, and I'm Tom Kearney. Tune in next time where we have Nicholas Highlander and Joel Marshall. You don't want to miss this one. See you next time, folks. From the On Access Studios in beautiful downtown Torrance, it's the Quarantine Comedy Show.